Hello, Noble Knitter, it's Nancy Queen. Do you have a college bound student that you want to knit something for, but you just don't know what to make? I'm gonna steer you in the right direction. We're gonna dive right in right now. So the kids or grandkids are heading off to college, or maybe it's you heading off to college and you wanna make something showing your school spirit or give them a precious gift, send off to school and you don't know what to make and you don't want to give them a gift where they're like, thanks grandma. You want to give them a gift that they're really going to enjoy. Well, guess what? I've partnered up with two of my friends, Yu Yu Yarns and Stitch Scoop, and we have put together an amazing college knitting handbook. It is a seven page guide that gives you everything you need to know and what the kids want you to knit for them while they're off to school. We love making things for our kids. You want them to have what they're gonna like and wear. This guide will tell you exactly that. Plus there's a lot of tips and tricks inside this book and even a place to take notes, help you choose the school colors and keep a log of what you've made and for whom. Now, if you wanna get this uh, guide, you're gonna go to my link in the description below, download the guide, print it off, and you'll have everything that you need. In addition, I'm going to provide links to all of the projects that I discuss in this video. Now, like I said, this is all about creating something special to send your child or grandchild off to school, or if you are a knitter heading off to college and you wanna knit something special for yourself, these are some great ideas for what to make using your school colors. Now, before you get started on the projects themselves, there's a few things you wanna keep in mind when you're figuring out what to make for them, you wanna consider the first thing, the climate. You know, if you're knitting for somebody in the Northern states or Northern part of the world, it gets cold, so anything goes. You can knit it with wool, you can knit it with acrylic, you know, that you're gonna be fine, you're covered. But if they go somewhere in the South, consider that it does not get cold most of the year, that you might wanna use a lighter weight yarn, you might wanna use a cotton or something that's breathable. And also consider where this garment's going to be used or this project. If it's going to be um, a blanket and they're gonna be inside, they might want um, something that's wool or acrylic. You also wanna keep in mind, this might be their first time doing laundry on their own. So you wanna make sure that it's machine washable or very easy care. Now you could use a super wash wool if you wanna go with a quality yarn, you could go with a super wash merino, or you might need to stick with acrylics. I'm thinking like boys, frat houses, you know, they're not up for care. So go with something that's really easy to care for. Next, you wanna think about sports. Will they be wearing it outside to a football game or inside to a basketball game? Be sure to pick the right weight yarn for where you anticipate this garment being worn. And the next tip I have for you is, are you gonna make it one or two colors? So, or even three. So we've got a variety of projects here. Some can be made in, actually all of them can be made in one color, but some of the projects specifically are meant to be knitted in two colors or even three colors, or you can just figure out your own striping system and stripe it yourself. And keep in mind, what is the predominant color of that school? Now that takes me to school colors. So if you look at this guidebook, it includes links to looking up the school colors and you can find exactly what the school is, what their main colors are, so that you have the guides that you need. In addition, if they're not really into school colors or if the school isn't really heavily into school colors or they just don't feel like those school colors are them, don't forget about fraternities, sororities, or even outside school sports. Like maybe they're going to the University of Pittsburgh and they're a Steelers fan, so maybe make them something in Steelers colors. There's so many different options that you can do and have fun with this and give them something that they're really passionate about. Before I get into the projects, I wanna show you, this has a like student log. You log the student, the name of the school they're going to, what their school colors are. Um, you can even list their mascot when they're expected to graduate, 
the projects that you're going to make for them, the yarns and colors that you're actually going to be using. And this guide has, um, Yep, there's several pages of this and you can print more if you have a lot of kids or grandkids or nieces or nephews that you're making these projects for. The next section is all of the major schools across the country in every state. So there's a few pages of these and then if they're not listed on here, we have links. They're not on here. You can look them up. And there's also a section for notes. I mentioned we put together all the school colors. Well, our friends at UU Yarn went ahead and coordinated all of these school colors. So you can go to uuyarns.com. I'll provide a link and you can put together pretty much any college color with these. We've done Ohio State, Scarlet and Gray. We've done Clemson. We've got done University of Michigan. Here's University of Miami with their green and orange and Penn State with their white and navy. I think this is also Yale's color. So you can have lots of fun putting together the colors. And like I said, I'll provide links to UU. Now let's get into the awesome projects that you can make that you'll find in this guidebook. We've divided them by categories and the first category is scarves. There's this blue bell hill scarf. This is a mitered scarf using three different colors, but you could easily knit this using one or two colors as well. It's a fun project, one that they'll love wearing when they're out and about. The next one is this chevron striped scarf. I love that these are, you know, again, it's a kind of a zigzaggy scarf, but they're thinner stripes and you can really have fun with the color combinations here if you were doing this. Um, now they've put in lots of different colors, but you can really tone this down and use it doing just two colors or three colors and it'll end up looking absolutely gorgeous. And then the third scarf is this diagonal pinstripe scarf. And you can see, again, it's a two color project. One color is definitely more predominant the, than the other. So if we were saying doing it in the Ohio State colors, for example, which is scarlet and gray, you could do it all scarlet with little gray stripes or do it all gray with little stripes of scarlet. So either way is going to look gorgeous. Next up, I have four shawls to show you. And this one is the double scoop shawl. You can see it's kind of an all over pattern with a little bit of edging detail in the white, but you can really have fun with two colors with this project. The next one is the shawl of destiny. I love this project. I mean, they can wear this. It's a big wrap shawl. You can wear it as a neck scarf. You can wear it as a wrap. It could be worn over a dress to an event um, or just as a really snuggly scarf over a coat. Great project. The river shawl also uses two colors. And as you can see here, this shawl is a diagonally knit, which is much easier than it sounds and it has an eyelet detail which is very fun to make and really kind of adds some interest while you're knitting and looks great when it's finished. The fourth shawl we have is the Drakenfell shawl. I've actually featured this on the website before. It's one of my favorite shawls and I love that it's got stripes and solid and then a little kind of dot detailing. You can really show your school colors with this one as well. And next we have three cowls. These three now this first one is called Gaptastic. It is one of the most downloaded projects on Ravelry because it's a great project, fun, easy to knit. It's worked up in a chunky weight yarn, um, really a nice, easy project way to send them off to school. It's one that can be worn long and loose or doubled around their neck. They're going to wear it again and again. The next one is for you brioche fans. Even if you haven't knit brioche before, this is a very good beginner project. This is called the wild fiber cow. It's a fun project using three different colors, but you could just as easily do it in two colors. The Soundtrack Cal, again, this is another really fun project. It uses two colors. Now I've got four sweaters for you. These are all on point with what girls today are loving to wear. And let's start with this one. This is a super simple striped sweater. I believe it's knitted in the, from the top down. 
It's got a yoke collar, long sleeves, and will be great for wearing pretty much fall all the way through spring. Next, we have the Pop Your Top Pullover. And again, it's a slightly cropped. It's totally what they're wearing. It's got a little seed stitch detailing. I believe this has also worked from the top down, got nice long sleeves, great project. If you want something easier, check out this Alanis sweater. It's all garter stitch and stockinette stitch and the combination of the two stitch patterns creates a really gorgeous sweater, but guess what? I believe this is just two panels. So you make the two front and the back, sew it together, done. Flax is a unisex sweater. This sweater is great because it goes all year round. It's actually sized for the entire family. Okay, next up I have three cardigans for you. Those were all pullovers. This one is the Sarah cardigan. This is a really quick, easy knit. It's all chunky, chunky yarn and it works up really fast. It's a tie front closure, so there's no buttons to worry about, no buttonholes. Next up, we have the Zoe cardigan. And to me, this looks like the most collegiate of all of the sweaters I'm showing, just because it has this, those college looking stripes and the contrast colors. And again, this one does not have buttons or buttonholes to deal with. It's just the fronts lay nice and flat. The third one here is the Carbeth cardigan. This is more like a jacket than a traditional cardigan. It's gonna be nice and warm for outings and like sport, outdoor sporting events. Now we're on to some socks. These can be knit for men or women. These are the rye socks and you can knit them solid here. I believe they have some pictures showing multiple colors on their website for the same pair of socks. But as you can see, it's sized for the whole family. And this pair is called the Steve Socks and I love these as well. I love the two color combination and Instead of doing the cream, just do it in the colors of the school. Now we're on to hats. I've got three hat projects for you. First are these classic cuffed hats and you can do them in a solid color. Just pick the main color of the school or you could do the hat in one color, the pom-pom in another color. You could do uh, stripes on the hat. You could do, you know, the brim of the hat in one color. And then when you get to stockinette, do another color and then do the pom-pom in the same color as the brim. Lots of options with this hat. Next, we have the barley hat. And again, this is one that you can just knit in one solid color. You could do the brim as, or the ribbed part as a contrasting color, or you could stripe the whole hat. And then I like this June hat, lots of fun to make. I love the stitch detail on it. It's got three colors, but you could do it in two colors. Contrast the pom-pom, really again, have fun with it for back to school. And next up we have mittens. You've got to keep those hands warm. So I have three mitten designs for you. First are the Luffy mittens. Now these are going to be the warmest of the group. I believe they're fully lined. So there's a lot going on in these cozy mitts and they're striped. So two or three colors will work well. Next we have the Tilda mitts. These are beautiful cabled mitten. And again, you could do them in solid colors. You could make one mitten one color, the other mitten the other color. Um, you could make the cuffs different colors. There's lots of ways to go with this. And the third mitten I have is really a pair of fingerless mitts. Same thing, you could do the cuffs in different colors or two different colored mitts. These are great for girls who like to be on their phones a lot because they can actually keep texting while keeping their hands warm. And now I have one that is a must have for pretty much every college student. This is a school spirit striped blanket. It's available, I believe in four sizes. And so there's anything from like a small stadium blanket that you have on your lap to one that fits a twin bed. There's lots of options to choose from and just pick the two colors of the school and you're on your way. The last two we have are the kegger cozy because there might be a chance that they head to a frat party or a party like that where there's a kegger. You can also use these for sodas, for coffee. It does not have to be for alcohol, but 
They're great. They're a great way of walking around campus, showing off your colors. Even over a water bottle, this would fit. We have one that was requested by my daughter, who's a college student. She asked for a headband. These are very popular right now with girls, and this hot mess headband has been downloaded hundreds of thousands of times. So I highly recommend this one for any girl in your life headed off to college. So those are the collection of projects to make to stay on par. You're gonna give kids what they want when they're heading off to school. Don't forget to go download our guide, and I will see you in the next video. My hair's sticking up here, huh? What's up with that?